So I'm sitting here now with uh, Lonica Decourt, who is the CEO of Book Different. And Lonica has just given a presentation on insights on marketing sustainable hotels. Lonica, thank you so much for joining us. It's great yeah. to have you here. My pleasure, my pleasure. Excellent. So Lonica, if the person was not in your presentation, what would yeah. be three key, key takeaways that you'd like them to have? COVID is good and bad. Mm -hmm. It will change completely our way of thinking and behavioral. That's a chance for tourism and the industry as a whole. Let's be smart and let's think through, let's work together, get rid of your ego and just do it. Okay, and given the current crisis, how can tourism be more environmentally friendly, do you think? Yeah, and, and safety is complete, yeah. It, I mean, you have the safety part, you have the environmental part, but sustainability is more. Eh? It's also about social, it's about how you manage it, it's about the fairness of the industry. So mm. it's not only environmental, mm. which I think is very important, and this wrapping around and all these determined detergents we're using, they should be uh, much more clean, but um, this is the case what it is. We're not going to change it. Mm -hmm. And um, this means the new normal is the normal. And that means that we have to um, share our development with clients, with our customers, what we're intending to do. And of course, we cannot just not do if sustainability doesn't uh, uh, exist. Mm. Because without a sustainable measurement, without taking the right measurements, there will be no tourism. Yeah. There won't be a new barrier, barrier leaf. Yeah. There won't be a new Venice. So, hey, hello, tourism sector, yeah. wake up. Yeah. So it's a great opportunity to use this change in behavior, make sure that we have things set in, in line and go for sustainability. So, you know, obviously with short-term stay guests, there's such a high turnover or historically such a high turnover of those, turnover of those in hotels. Yeah. What would you say would be three ways now moving forward that hotels can best support sustainable living principles mm -hmm. for short-term stay guests? That's a very good question because short terms are in principle not sustainable. Exactly. Yep. So this means that hotels have to be aware of their sustainable practices. And although certification is not a holy grail, but standards, so certification standards for hotels are a very good way to get your business uh, um, aligned with sustainable practices. Mm -hmm. It's not so only about sustainable practices, it's about eco-efficiency, it's mm -hmm. also about mm -hmm. uh, saving money. The th next thing is that um, more and more uh, guests are looking for a more authentic experience, so feeling home. When feeling home, you're talking, you're not talking about plastic bottles, you're not talking about cups you throw away. You talk about glass bottles, mm. you talk about cups you can drink of. It's, so the, the whole surrounding could be much more sustainable because you want to move towards feeling home and feeling safe. Mm. Mm. Um, another practice what would be good is um, um, make sure you give the opportunity for your guests to really practice this sustainability. Make sure you have these separate waste bins. Make sure you offer the local food because your, your, your destination will be happy when you work with your local mm. suppliers and this is marketing wise a very good idea because people like authentic they like um, genuine experiences and local food healthy food in line also with covid mm. that's something that we want to achieve yeah. all yeah. of us yeah right okay yeah. Uh, now sustainability and hygiene um, how does a hotel make both of those things work because clearly now hygiene is a, yeah. a priority and yeah. many people say yeah. it's the new luxury. Yeah. Um, how, how, how do you marry the two? Uh, good question. I think marrying these, I mean, the hygiene and safety is a protocol that doesn't have to do anything with a sustainable experience or a sustainable business. Mm. It's part of the new way of working. Apart from this, we need to take all these other practices into, into mind as well. Mm. So that's what I think... Um, it's just belonging next to each other. Yeah. Okay, good. Finally, how can sustainability be communicated beyond cliches and greenwashing? Yeah, good thing. Yeah. I, I mean, what I, I did some research and we have quite some guests and I, I've I've called a few because uh, we have returning guests, now, that's the thing. Yeah. We, uh, we have uh, very loyal guests or very loyal bookers to say so. And um, they say, get rid of the technical stuff certification or sustainability is just 
part of your practice, mm -hmm. make sure that you present to me that you have the local egg, egg of farmer X. Yeah. And just make sure that you say that, that, that uh, the, the beautiful tomatoes are coming from that part. Just make it tangible and give me the opportunity to choose because nobody is against earth. earth huh? mm -hmm. Everybody is pro Earth, pro yes. Gaia. Yeah. And you can really align with this. And they are really willing to take this step. Okay. So make it tangible, communicate about it, and you will move forward. And it will be also a loyalty that will increase huh? because mm. you're in it together. And that's mm. a strong thing to move forward with. Mm. Excellent. Good. Good. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Yes, same here. Thank you. Thanks. Okay.